Hello everyone and welcome to prompt number 35. Today's aunt is just hanging out. All right, let's see what we've got today. Water bottle and flashlight. Wow, those are very odd. All right, let's see what we can do with it. Going into this prompt, I was pretty worried. I mean, flashlight and water bottle? What the heck am I supposed to do with that? So I really had to rack my brain for this one. The first sketch, I have a girl exploring with her little brother and they're going through the dark. She's using a flashlight and she steps on a water bottle that makes a crunching sound and it freaks her little brother out. I thought that was a pretty goofy idea, but I wasn't completely sold on it yet. So for the second sketch, I thought I would revisit an old character. It's the farmer girl from an earlier prompt. She's working on her mechanical horse and she's using a flashlight to look up at its belly and she's got a bottle of water next to her. But again, I just, I wasn't sold on it yet, so I kept playing around. So for the third and final sketch, I thought I would play around with the objects being long and what can be used as a long object? A fake microphone. Like two girls at a slumber party, these girls are using the flashlight and the water bottle like they are microphones. When I originally sketched these, I had these two girls as young girls, like they're at a sleepover. But when I drew the girl on the right, I accidentally made her too big. So I thought that was okay, she can be the babysitter, I guess, and the girl on the left can be the kid, and they can just be having a grand old time while her parents are out of the house. They're in their pajamas, they're ready for bed, and they're just having a fun time with no parents. Then I threw in a doggy in the middle because I thought it would just be more fun to have the animals joining in and for giggles I put a hamster in a ball down there because how often do you see a hamster in a ball as a pet just hanging out? I thought that was a pretty funny addition and I couldn't resist. With this piece, not only were the prompts kind of a challenge, but I decided that I wanted to push myself for this one. I haven't really pushed myself to do any complicated backgrounds lately and this project was meant for me to keep drawing and practice different things that I don't normally draw and especially backgrounds and it's been a while since I've really pushed myself with the background so I tried to do that with this one. I'm still figuring out my style with backgrounds and I think that I like to keep them a little bit more simple so that the characters pop out better because I think a problem I kind of run into when I do backgrounds is that the characters and the backgrounds kind of blend in together and I really like it when characters pop out of their backgrounds and they don't just kind of camouflage with the rest of the image. So with the background, I chose a lot of muted and light colors. I made the lines broken and not complete. I didn't shade the background and I just kind of tried to keep it as simple but with as much detail to make a background that I could while letting the viewer kind of focus on the characters themselves. And I think in the end I was pretty successful but I have a lot of work to do in my backgrounds and I do think I've come very far with my backgrounds but I'm just going to have to keep practicing. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you've probably noticed that I do this whole circle background or like half circle background thing in the background. It's just, I find it more interesting than filling a page with a background. A full page illustration is fine, but like I said, I think it's just really interesting to have the background cut off in the circular shape or any other shape and have the characters kind of break out of that frame. I think it looks really cool and I like the way it looks. I have nothing against full page. I need to start doing some more full pages um, more often. However, I just really like the way this rounded background looks with the characters popping out. I think it's fun to break frames and have characters pop out because it kind of gives more interest to these illustrations. Plus, it's always fun when you start to work on an illustration that kind of has a theme to it and you can make your own shape or just something that looks a little more themed to that illustration. There could be the top of a star. One time I did like a swirly poop background shape. It's just another aspect of the illustration that you can kind of play around with and put a little bit more creativity into and I like that. Something else I wanted to try to push myself with this illustration was to use brighter colors. Since this is a little girl, and I'm not saying she has to like pink, but because she's a little girl, I kind of wanted to try to put some bright pinks and bright purples on these characters because it's something that I don't normally do. I don't like the color purple, and I don't normally like really bright, colorful colors. I really like those earthy muted tones. 
but I wanted to push myself to use some more colorful colors for this one. I didn't push myself too far, I will admit, but pink and purple are colors that I don't normally use and I wanted to kind of make them a little bit more girly than usual. And I do think these more vibrant colors help the characters pop out of the muted backgrounds, so I think that helps with that. I think that's about all I really have to say about this illustration. Let me know in the comments, do you have any funny sleepover stories from when you were a kid? I don't, because my life is boring. Though, whenever I think about sleeping over, I think about my best friend in elementary school. For whatever reason, she always got terrified in the middle of the night when she tried to spend the night at someone's house. So every time she spent the night at my place and I woke up in the morning to find that she had been picked up by her mom, I was always very sad. So there's my hilarious story. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!